Hey friends, welcome to our channel. Our power grid in the United States is getting more strained every single day. And if you've been paying attention, you may have noticed your electricity bill has gone up and up and not down. Well, there are several reasons for that and I'm gonna talk about those today. I'm also gonna talk about a solution for you and that is building your own power grid. It is a goal for me here on this channel to help you disconnect from grid systems and that includes power, water, and all of it. And there are two reasons for that that I will talk about in this video. So let's get into it. So there is something that is fairly new that's driving some grid reliability issues right now and it's not going to slow down. And that big contributor is AI data centers. Those data centers are being built all over the United States. Currently, there are 1,240 centers nationwide, with many more under construction. Now, that's not the only factor contributing to our grid reliability issues, but it is starting to become a big factor. Other factors include aging grid infrastructure, increasing costs, inflation, and reliance on foreign parts for our systems. These AI data centers are sharply increasing the demand curve on our power grid and our power generation capabilities. Did you know it takes 10 times more electricity to run an AI search than it does a regular Google search? 10 times, that's insane. And this has all been calculated out. That's a lot of extra power that's needed just for an AI search. Yes, it's convenient, but is it worth it right now with our grid in the state that it's in? Along with that, did you know just generating one AI picture takes as much energy as it does to charge an entire smartphone from zero to 100? That's mind blowing. These data centers are massive and they use a ton of electricity. We have one being built here in East Texas, ironically in Sulphur Springs where Signature Solar is located. That's where I get most of my equipment. That data center complex is 1,677 acres. It includes 30 separate data centers and outbuildings and support buildings. That is a massive piece of land and it is gonna consume a lot. Now you can argue, is it for our benefit? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but right now, the grid might not be able to handle things like this. And we see reliability issues all over the country, which is why I want you to unplug from the system and build your own power grid. I'm standing in front of one of our smaller systems on our property that powers our barn and our well house. But I wanted to mention those rising costs because they are affecting everybody across the country. Electricity costs have skyrocketed across the country in the last five years, and it is related to all of those things I just mentioned, including the data centers. For perspective, here is a chart that shows the percentages in each state. Even if you haven't seen your spike that much or haven't noticed it, pay attention to some states in the rest of the country. The electricity costs in the state of New Jersey have gone up 20% just this year alone. In the past three years, Connecticut has seen a 71% increase in electricity costs. California, 46% in the last three years, and Texas, 27% in the last three years. Friends, this is unsustainable. Now I'm gonna show you the main system that we have in our house. But before that, I wanna mention that we have everything listed in the description below the video. This system, our other systems, all of it. And if you're interested in starting to build your own system, we have a $50 off coupon for Signature Solar. So head below the video and check out all those links for that equipment. All right, let's head over to the house and look at that system. This is the current system I am running on my home and it is very easy to install. All of this newer equipment that I have is rated for the outdoors and I've built up to this point over time. This is the EG4 FlexBoss 21 all-in-one hybrid inverter. These are Pites batteries, which are outdoor rated in this outdoor box. And next to it, you have the Big Battery Ethos battery system, also rated for outdoors. I installed all of these myself and made videos on how to do every system on my property. I encourage you to go look at those up here at the top of the screen. I have over 80 videos showing you how to install different solar systems. And those videos will show you how to start small and scale up if you don't have enough money to go big at the beginning. And that's what I really encourage everybody to do if they're gonna do it themselves. Start small, learn, and then scale up. Also start small, save, and then scale up. Our videos encompass several different types of products, including inverters, 
batteries, and panels. We have several different types, sizes, and brands, and hopefully one of our videos will be helpful for you. And an off-grid system basically just needs three to four different parts. One of those is batteries, two is the panels, and if you have an all-in-one inverter, that's number three. If you have a separate inverter and a separate charge controller, then that's three and four. Add some wiring and some small parts in there and connect it to your house and you're good to go. When looking through the archives for our solar videos, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them for me in the comment section below any of the videos. Or you can email me at the channel email address. Now I told you earlier that there are two different reasons why I wanted you to unplug from the system. The first one was that it's going to become more and more unreliable as we're adding these big data center loads to it unless some major upgrades are made. But the second reason is for my Christian friends and I'm gonna talk about that now. If you are not interested in this part, I totally understand. I still love you and want you to be here. But the second part is something my Christian friends don't think about very often and that's located in Revelation 13, 16, and 17, where it says he required everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free or slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or in their forehead, and that no one could buy or sell without this mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And I won't get into it on this video, but we'll study what the mark is, who the beast is, on some separate videos. But there's gonna be a portion of time when Bible-believing, commandment following Christians will not be able to buy or sell. They will be completely cut off from everything. They'll be completely cut off from every worldly thing. So if you continue to have and will have electricity needs during those times, you are going to need something like this because a gas generator is not going to cut it when you have no more gas. Okay, friends, I hope you have a beautiful blessed day. And if you have any questions, like I said, leave them for me in the comment section below or email me. Now YouTube tells me this is a great video for you to watch next. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.